Welcome to the Livio Candies Music All Stars Internet TV Show with show host Steve Murray. Brought to you live from the ISW's TV studios and soundstage theater on the sunny Indy Atlantic Florida beach. Now here's your show host, Steve Murray. Hello and welcome to Livio Candy's Music All Stars. Yeah. 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 Where's the clapping? Where's the applause? <laughs> Where's the applause? Yeah. We got it in there. <laughs> <laughs> Today we have Patrick Dean. Hi, everybody. Let me shake your hand. <laughs> All right, we got the clip. There they are. The audience just walked in now. There you are. We know them all. Can we have a couple more claps from the audience? All right, there. <laughs> we want to hear you. All right, more, 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 yeah. Patrick Dean. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I can't take any more. <laughs> I would like to thank Rita Van Hale. Rita Van Hale up in Switzerland. I want to say hello to you. How you doing? Rita. Uh -huh. How you been? Well, that's good. That's so, and Jasmine Ten, hello out there. Yes. And we're going to get on with the show, and I'm going to uh, tell you about more people I'm going to thank on, from Facebook and getting this show around the world, worldwide. We're getting bigger and bigger. And we're going to talk to Patrick Dean today, the lead singer and the guitar player of Goatfoot. Yeah! And what kind of name is that? Yeah. Goatfoot. Where's some clapping? Goatfoot! 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 It's as good a name as any, isn't it? Yeah. Well. Good name to it. <laughs> Mine's Tweezer. <laughs> <laughs> See, exactly! <laughs> <laughs> So, um, how long have you been playing the guitar and writing your own songs, or have you been playing covers? I don't know. I don't know too much wow. about you. Oh, well, tell so me. So tell me everything. All right. I'll <laughs> tell you everything. Uh, I came here about 91. Okay. Where'd you Got come from? Chicago. Oh, okay. And uh, it just seemed to be the thing to do. Um, before that, I would played in bands, but I'd always been like a singer, been the vocalist. Okay. When I got here, I figured um, I'd learn how to play guitar. So I joined the Friends of Florida Folk. They had a little organization to get together every Wednesday at Mathers Bridge. Okay. It was fun. Everybody, but you couldn't play any electrical. It had to be acoustic. So when they told me to do folk songs, I'm thinking, all right, I'll do songs about my folks. <laughs> so I started no, honestly, I started writing about my sisters, brothers, mother, dad, and everything. Oh, you didn't, and you didn't get no the folk, well, folk <laughs> music. I mean, I was never raised around it. I know nothing about folk music. I was yeah. in a punk band for Christ's sake. Yeah, it was, you we know, like the Chicago. Bob Dylan stuff yeah. in the early '60s. Oh, wonderful! The punk so stuff was the best. But anyway, <laughs> uh, so when I got here, I decided I was going to play guitar. So I started playing, and it was probably about '91. And that's when I ran into Todd and Ralph. And uh, they put up with my really bad playing. And, uh, Until you got it's, uh, we just We just kept playing. That's all we ever, we just, we were friends and we just started playing. And we just kept, kept playing. playing. Yeah. And in fact, we fell out of touch like all everybody does. All musicians fall out of, for a little while. Yeah. And then all of a sudden just ran into them again and it just fell back in. So all of a sudden now we're just kind of continuing on. But, it's kind of nice being retired. Oh, you're retired. Oh, yeah. I can, devote all my, I can devote my time to this. And this is really what I've always wanted to do, do anyway. anyway. I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> work just got in the way of everything you really want to do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Usually you work to, to buy they guitars. They, yeah, they got it. They got, they got it. the joke. All right. So I'm, <laughs> I've been having a blast. And it's just um, meeting you guys. It's like I've been kind of coming around here a lot lately. <clears throat> Doing my Down to ISW yeah, doing Studios. Our we're doing our yeah. recording here. All right. Yeah. Upstairs. Oh, yeah. Upstairs. Oh. Let's hand some clapping. Keen. <laughs> Keen. He's awesome. No he's clapping. Great. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, he's a real easy guy to work oh, with. Oh, there they are. <laughs> easy guy to work with. And so I am really happy with where it's going. I mean, I'm sitting up there, and I can't wait to get my hands on the tape to go, ooh, let's start mixing this baby down. Yeah. And, uh. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't felt this confident about anything I've ever done, ever. 
you know, the music part. And I think a lot of it has to do with them finally calm down, a little older. Mm-hmm. And I love writing songs. Just love it. Yeah. It's my favorite thing to do. In fact, sometimes I think I wake up every morning with a new song. And I'll just run and go do something with it. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. So I throw all the bad, the bad ideas, I just stick them all in a pile, and every once in a while I'll yank something back out from there. You know? Yeah, and you could work on it and fix it up a little, and you uh, never yeah, know. It, and it, does, it works. Yeah. But for right now, it's kind of like I'll write a tune and sit on it for a while and play it and listen to it, and then just watch it change. And I just kind of show it to the band, boom. And then they put in yeah. their parts. And they'll stick their parts in. Well, generally, I know it's going to sound awful, but I put all the parts in. <laughs> Everything but the drums. I can't do drums. That's why I appreciate good drummers. It's the only <laughs> thing you can't do. The only thing I can't do. Good drummers. Good drummers. Well. Ah. <laughs> so. Good singers. Oh, good man. <laughs> the, the yeah. We learned our lessons. When oh, we were bingo. younger. Oh, <laughs> nah. Luckily, so this is really, for me, this has been a blast. This is like, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of doing what I really should be doing. Yeah. And uh, music. Uh, and I realize that I am a fan. I'm, I'm a music fan. I love music. I, I mean, I collect it. I, it's, uh, oh, God. I mean, I get into it. I yeah. have to have, like, every, you know, every Beatle album that was ever put out, every... In fact, I just... Both versions, the English versions found, and the American versions. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> and I just found uh, Toys in the Attic, Aerosmith. Oh, yeah. On a surround sound. And so it's in 5.1. And oh, really? I got a chance to listen to it, and it blew me away. There was instruments in there. I had no clue were there. They, they were, you know, just in it's such a... So, I mean, uh, one of my favorite... I love to listen to... Oh, another thing I listened to is Tommy, The Who. Yeah. Surround sound. Awesome. And it's, these are things that, I mean, like, uh, this is stuff I love. I mean, I yeah, absolutely I love this love stuff. all that music, too. So yeah. for me, it's like, it always, well, if they could do it, I can do it. So I'd write my own song. Yeah. So like I said, some of them are good, some of them are. But I, I love doing mm-hmm. the, the process. The albums on there, you know, some of the songs <laughs> are good, some of them aren't. <laughs> but somebody's going to like it. I, somebody's going to like the one that you don't like. So it doesn't matter. There's billions yeah. of people in the world. and you know. Well, I, I've never looked at it like this before. You know what I mean? I never looked in terms of out there and you know, other people. And oh, I mean, it, my, there's a whole we're world. out there. It, it's amazing. It's a big, huge world. I mean, yeah. It's gigantic. But and now we're all connected, you know, on oh, the Internet. Mm-hmm. That's the difference between... You know, our time, you know, 20 years ago when you started, but I was you had to have a CD or, you know, I think CDs were just coming out <laughs> in 91. I was reading an <coughs> article, I don't know why, about the B-52s. I love those yeah. guys. They're just dancing. I love that. B-52s, they're, every single one of their albums has gone to number one in, like, New Zealand. I mean, they're people, so they always have to go to New Zealand every time they put anything out. Plus, they're like really huge there. And then other countries don't even know who they are. Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, you know, that's how it is with music. I'm learning about bands that are selling millions of albums and millions of records, and I've never heard of them. And they're like from Germany or. Yeah. Uh, and they're just not selling here in the United States. Right, but I mean, as far as the world goes, it's... It's worldwide. You know, mm. And that's the difference now. Now we could be worldwide, too, which we are right now on this TV show. And I'd like to... And we have a bigger audience. We can appeal to Russians, Brazil, Frank Bassey, Frank Bassey from Frank. Belgium. Belgium. Frank! <laughs> Some claps. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, Frank. But he's a guitar player in Belgium, and um, I promote him, and he promotes me. And oh, you should you get him as a friend on uh, Facebook. All right, let's do it. I'll do So find Patrick Dean on Facebook. By the time I get home, I'll see you on there. Uh, <laughs> I was just thinking that we keep going through these, like, little, whatever it is, songwriting. So the band, like, all of a sudden, I got into this Florida thing. I thought, Florida, what's, you know, that's where Alligator came from. You know? Yeah. Or to state animal or whatever. If it isn't, it should be. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I, for a while, I was like, well, let me do some songs from here. from, And that's why I tried to give it like a little swampy feel and everything. Yeah, yeah. And then there's other tunes. It's like, hmm, that, uh, what's that thing they have in Melbourne every year, the cowboy thing? The, the oh. country western thing that they just had. 
some jamboree. I don't know. I don't anyway, know. Does anybody know? <laughs> I miss. So it. I started. I started. I'm listening to a little country, and then it's like, well, I'm gonna borrow a little bit of that feel, you know. And we got a drummer that can kind of. He'll pick it up. He'll go from country to rock to uh, waltzes, whatever it is. He he can cover it, and we've done that with songs where we kind of change them around. Yeah. And it's really that's up to him to do. But uh, as far as drummer. Uh, he supplies the beats and it gets me going. That's yeah. what I usually uh, when I write a song, I'll, I'll put on a drum machine yeah. that's playing a beat and keep yeah, me yeah, in yeah. time, and then and I'll come up with a riff sooner or later in a that's couple hours. And then I have to remember it. That riff thing. <laughs> Yeah, I a guitar a riff. I, mean, I make up there. a guitar riff, and then there's a song that goes with, like, say, like, Day Tripper is a guitar mm, riff. Dun, 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 dun. So now I make up something <laughs> similar, you know, in a guitar riff. Dun, 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 you know, that's all guitar riff. Well, and then they they build off of that. That's what and, it's all about. You know, that's what trying to come up with a cool guitar riff to start a song with. Yeah, yeah. That's the Keith Richards thing, you know, like yeah. the satisfaction, you know. Da, yeah. Da, 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 yeah. Da, and it started, you know, the, the mother of time. all guitar riffs right yeah. there. and that's the simplest one. Uh, you, day Tripper is a lot harder than that uh, one. Well, I remember, <laughs> I remember a lot of garage rock being like that. Um, <laughs> just old <clears throat> stuff. I have Shadows of Night, uh, Gloria, and... Just yeah. those, just those kind of. Those and kind Louie, of Louie, that's you know, they're still playing that now, and it was recorded it was in the garage. Bingo! I, I don't well, know. <laughs> <laughs> they call it ooh, they call it garage rock, but you know what? Excuse me. Okay, My we're going to be going into a break. Break. And, uh, yeah, we're talking too much. They want uh. the people want to meet us out there. All those people out there. <laughs> 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 they're in commercial break and talk about your album. And video. We'll video, album, oh. pictures, whatever, whatever. We have a GoFoot band video coming up right now during co commercial break. Oh. So let's have that. Stick around. We'll be right back in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Livio Candy's Music All-Stars after this short break. This is my favorite song. I hope you like it. Eat a 
until the day that I die. Peanut butter popper, the baby. Peanut butter popper, the dog. Peanut butter pie for grandma. Peanut butter pie till it's gone.
back to Lydia Candy's Music All Stars. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who? 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 Hey. Hey. All right. We're back with Patrick Dean. It's me. The big rock star. Here. The oh, rock yeah, star for the day. And the flavor of the, the month. Yeah, the flavor of the month, like I usually am. <laughs> so how's it going up with the re, uh, recording? How are you doing up there with that? Excellent. And so it's Almost all done. coming out. Almost done. How many songs you got? Eleven. Ten, eleven? Eleven songs. Wow. How long did it take you to record those? When did you start? I think only like a week ago or two weeks ago I was here. When Team. you were... <laughs> I can't remember anything. Was it like two weeks ago? <sighs> okay. Yeah. Eight hours. Eleven songs. Is it for a first album? I, I am, I've never heard of anybody going way over. You've been playing those songs for years. It's like you're sick of them. You want to get them out on a CD so yeah, you can so move you can, on. Yeah, and play something new. <laughs> I mean, we all know these songs like the back of our hand. We're supposed to anyway. Yeah, but now you know it's time is. for the rest, of, the rest of the world to hear everything that you have oh, done. Yeah. Or because they yeah. haven't heard it. And they will hear it soon. It, it's, it's slowly becoming my favorite music right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really liking it. I'm really yeah. liking it. So, uh, and we get, we're, we're going to talk. talk about me uh, playing yes. a couple of guitar solos. I got a on. perfect song. I got a perfect song for a guitar okay, solo. Okay, we're going to listen to it And you could do afterwards. it like, uh, I mean, you've got, you've got the top. So we'll talk about this. Okay. We will discuss this. He says, I know. Anyway, I'm having a blast doing this. <laughs> I'm having a blast doing it. I can't believe that it's fine. And now you're on TV worldwide. Talking Look about at this. It. Oh, Talking my about God. So maybe I'm we on can, TV worldwide. Maybe we can oh get him. God. Maybe we can get him. <laughs> <laughs> and Rita Van Halen. I'm saying hello again. Rita. 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 Um, okay. Serge, thanks. Enjoy. Oh, man. It's Eddie Van Halen's <laughs> cousin. <laughs> huh? Eddie Van Halen's cousin. Is it really? No. And she should be talking to him. <laughs> What's she bothering you for? It's Van Halen girls. No, it's just Van Halen. <sighs> she lives up in Switzerland in the mountain, and I wanted to say hello because really? I promised and promised and promised her. And Jasmine Ten, Frank Bassey, there's so many others. I'm going to have all your names next week on this show to thank you okay for promoting this and probably promoting his album when it comes out yeah. because this show will be on reruns constantly forever so you'll be talking about your album forever, <laughs> forever. <laughs> well and your be first good. album it better be good no i'm really it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun i can't wait for people to hear it i've got <clears throat> there's two people in the world that i really really <sighs> value their opinion one is my little brother mark it's like, uh, I just, you know, let's see, but you know, last, like no, about two years ago, I think it was uh, Vampire Weekend, and he kept talking about him, and then, like, uh, I told him about the recording and everything, and he mailed me back, and he says, yeah, he goes, uh, he says, you are now my favorite band. Gofoot's now my favorite band. It's like, yes, got All Mark. right. And the other person is um, my ex-wife. Now, if she can like what I'm doing, and, <laughs> and, and actually... You know, let me know and tell me that she really likes it. Then I know that's you know. Then I know I'm heading in the right direction. Good. So. Yeah. Well. Uh, so it's like I can't wait to get it out there. The women in our lives. The. Sounds like a soap opera. I know it could be a the new women song. in our lives. That's the new soap opera coming up on ISW Studios. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Excited, but it'll be about three, four months after we're done mixing it. Oh yeah, it. that's what I figure. It will take about three or four months. You know, for really? the production to be done and be. I'm only kidding. And well, I was going along with you, God. Two years. Two I, 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 years from now. What am I going to do if it's not? <laughs> it's three or four months, then it's okay. Then I, I got to deal with it. <laughs> two. Two months. Three. Two or three weeks will be all done. Two or three weeks. Right. It'll be out. And then I we'll have you back on the show to promote it. We'll be holding up So we'll have, it by, we'll have it by 4th of July. Yeah. We'll have it by the 4th of July. It'll be on iTunes. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, that's even better. 
You're on the. Hey, we got the cover done. The cover's already done. It's the picture. It's like now oh, we just really? have to put the print in, I guess. Yeah, you can put in some pictures from this TV show. Yeah. This will be this will be my fourth CD, personally. Okay. I put out uh, one with Little Joe and the Giants, and I put out two of my own solo ones. But I made them, and then I just sent them out to family and friends. And so that, that's how I would get al- you know get along with my songs. It was like I could do them, and then I could give them to somebody. And that's kind of how I was doing yeah. it. Yeah. So it's like um, give them out to people that I knew, and once it's recorded, it's on there. It's like you know, if you want to hear it, you can. Give it to him. You don't have to deal with it anymore. So yeah. It's like, yeah. And then you can move on to the next ah, song. So I don't. I, we still need a name for it, though. It'll, go foot, I guess. Go foot band. I don't know, what would you call it? Uh, Your best foot forward. We'll come up with the next. We'll, come up we'll with with brainstorm. Goes with go Stomping. Yeah. We'll Press brainstorm on that. And if any of you come up with a good idea for a title of an album, contact for go foot, him. Just do it. Do you have a, a well, like? They can call you or something. I don't know. A like page on, for GoFoot? On oh, we do. We have GoFootBand.com. Okay. Can't get any easier than that. So that's a, a regular web page. Yeah. And um, there is some music on there, but it's going to be coming down pretty soon. So steal it now. <laughs> <laughs> get it now. Get it all the time. <laughs> GoFoot Band Five Toes. Oh, five Toes. Stomping. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Or like Keen said. Can I be the big toe? I want to be the big toe. You're the big toe yeah. in the band. He's the big toe, toe in the band. <laughs> send, in, send in the name for the, for the CDs. There you go. Okay. You're the big toe of the band, I know. Big toe would be a good, good name for an album, too, though. Huh? Big toe. Shuffle. Or a stomping. Mm. Like he said. <laughs> No, I can't hear like I used to. Uh, I hear it in, in my ear. <laughs> well, what I don't think I'm glad about is like I looked it up. There was no other GoFoots in the world. Nobody's got a GoFoot anything. I so know. I was like, and that was Todd. Todd came up with that name. Don't ask me how or why, but it, you know, it won. No, the Taliban's got a group. Called Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we'll believe you. Because <laughs> you've got the polka face. We believe well, him. <laughs> I get it. It's going to take six months for his album to come out. <laughs> once a year, once a year. It, uh, no. I, hey, in the back of my mind, I got two more. This, the first one, I got, I got the second one and the third one already, already ready. So, are you going to come out with a single first? Yes. A forty-five. I want. I, I would love to. Personally, I would love to do a forty-five. I think it would be awesome. But I would like to, maybe I can call it a, uh, an iTunes 45 or a, uh, I don't know. Uh, MP3 45. I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, I know. you got to have the B side, too. I know the first uh, the single will be uh, Peanut Butter Pie. All right. Peanut, butter Peanut Butter Pie. You heard it here first. That will be the first single. What's that? And that is the video that we just watched. Oh. <gasps> I guess cool we weren't that? watching. We were oh, yeah, that's right. I knew that. We were I on the beach. That. I knew that. Getting rained on. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to be able oh. to... I want to do to everybody that yeah. hears the song what I did to you myself. <laughs> take the break and then put the, get the Skype thing going? Okay, yeah, it is like 2.30. We're going to have a Skype guest, uh, Blair Sickley Cumley, um from Virginia. Blair, how's he doing? He's doing good. Yeah, Excellent. Right. So okay. uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. We're going to hook him up on Skype. and Skype. Patrick yeah. will still be here. Question. Another video from GoFoot. Really? <laughs> Family reunion. Ooh, yeah. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. So right. we'll be back in a few minutes. And audience, I want to hear more clapping. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll clap for you. <laughs> And Michael Ray, you'll be on the show. Great piano player. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Livio Candy's Music All-Stars after this short break.
figure where to have it this year. Chicago, Memphis, Omaha, or Maine. Wherever we go, it's still insane. Or trash a hotel That's always fun Wherever we go They sure raise hell Colorado, Colorado Or a Florida cruise Bring a lot of money Food and food Tell me where I'm going Cause I'm all Candy's Music All-Stars. Welcome back. Hey, everybody. How you doing? We're Skyping, right? We're Skyping right now. Okay. Hey, audience. We're Skyping! Oh, no, I don't see your picture. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What do you do about this picture? I don't know what's going on. Can you see me? Is that it? Can you see me now? Um, no. Can you see me now? The screen changed, but I can't see you. Yeah, we can't see him. But can you see me? There he is. Oh, there you I are. Here we go. Hey, okay. how you doing? Okay. All right. Can you see me? There he is. How you doing? Yeah, sickly. How you doing? All right. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Good to see you. It was great talking to you the other day. So what's going on with you up in Virginia? What are you doing? Skipping class. Oh, skipping class? <laughs> so yeah, no kidding. Now you're going to get caught <laughs> because they're going to see the TV show. <laughs> oh, I know. 
So this is cool. Have a guy you on here. Um, you talk to uh, JD. That's uh, the guy uh, uh, I know on Facebook, and he's here right now. And then he told me to call you, and we met up. Well, you called me actually. So yeah. Hey, don't forget <laughs> me. I mean, and Will Will Spotafora over there. Will. We forgot about him. What's up, Will? The clapping the audience. <laughs> Where am I? Uh, the audience fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, audience. <laughs> so, uh, are you working on with a band or a CD or what are you doing? Oh yeah, I've got I got two projects. I got my own project rolling right now. Okay. Uh, that's under my yeah my artist name Blair Sickly, and oh. then. I've got a, a project that I'm working with with a band called Sight of Scene. That's that's probably what I've been primarily devoting my time to currently. Okay. Sight Unseen. And you're, yeah. the, you're the guitar player, right? No, I, I do lead guitar. Um, our singer also does the backup rhythm, so he, he fills in that area. And then we got a we got a really cool drummer. His name's George. He he really think that's crazy on there. Uh, he's into using a lot of crash and stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> cool. Yeah. So uh, you're working with uh, the one band, and that's like going to be your main band, uh, like to play out with, or uh, and your other one is like a project for CDs, or. Yeah, that's about accurate. Uh, I I kind of had a company that was asking me to do a couple of demos, and that's where the side project really came in. Oh, okay. the time. Yeah, it was kind of hard finding a lot of people that really wanted to do what I wanted to do with the project. Yeah. I so <laughs> I ended up, yeah, I recorded my own pieces. Yeah, I'm sure you understand the feeling. Yeah, I <laughs> so I ended up doing. A, yeah, I ended up doing a couple of my own pieces there, and then uh, the the drummer George, I had worked with him in the past, and he said, "Look, you know, we're getting this band back together called Side of Scene. You want to be part of it?" And I said, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. So are you going to be playing out with the band and then, or doing a recording first and then going to play out, or, or are you playing covers? Oh, we got a couple of things. Oh, yeah, yeah, we uh, we do our own stuff. Uh, we start, started off, they had a couple of things that they had already set up. We, they had a couple of songs that had made some good hits. Uh, one in particular that I, I like pretty well is called Rule Number 666. Um, right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> right after that, we uh, we actually we played a couple of shows now since I've joined up with them, and it's been going great. I've been having a really good time. It's the best feeling playing it out. You know, just playing yeah. with a band. I mean, it's nothing beats it. They say yeah, it's better than sex. It, it lasts longer. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> if you're playing yeah, out for yeah. four hours. <laughs> Think you know after you play out, there's always the opportunities afterwards. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> well, oh, I'm glad that and rock they and roll even follow you home and they give you presents. And I'm glad all rock and roll stuff. hasn't changed at all. No, rock and roll hasn't changed, changed in that area. No. And we like women. Thank yeah. you for supporting us because we'd be nothing <laughs> without you. Thanks for certainly it. not. <laughs> <laughs> And yet, thanks for doing my hair, <laughs> all you women out there, telling me to keep my hair long. <laughs> Always telling me to let it grow longer and longer and longer, so I never get it cut anymore. So, <laughs> and that's from the women. I can't see the guitar neck anymore, though. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm bent down, and I'm like, all up in your face. Yeah, and I'm in, a, I'm in A flat or something. There in A, and I'm like, oh, oh. I wish, <laughs> I wish I had that problem. <laughs> I wish I had that problem. Yeah, no, come on. <laughs> on the guitar itself? Huh? On I, the fingerboard, you that? On the, what do you say? I have no clue. I couldn't hear what you said. Yeah, the stripes. Yeah. You ever put like, bent down and up when you're playing where you get your hair stuck on the fretboard? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. <laughs> because the back of my hair is really long, and it comes forward, and it lays right on the guitar, on the strings, and it gets stuck on the strings. Or, but yeah, 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 I know what you mean. As long as you look <laughs> cool. God, I hate Doing when that happens. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> 
I mean, you know. There's so many things that happen. Yeah. You just, yeah, look cool. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Even if you're messing up, you just got to get that look in there and you're fine. <laughs> Ah, that's what I, like I say. It. Most of the time, I'll put on one of my songs on Facebook. I'll get about 20, 30 likes. But if I put, your, put a picture of myself playing the guitar on it, I get like 250 likes. <laughs> wow. Just a picture. Mm. Yeah, oh, so so if there's somehow I could combine the oh, picture this is from the waist up. song. It's <laughs> from the waist up, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just check it. No, it's a picture <laughs> of my goat foot. <laughs> So here's a question for you. Have you ever been in one of those uh, really awkward situations with a police officer where you just, nothing you could possibly say would make it less awkward? Absolutely not. Yeah, uh, <laughs> not lately. <laughs> but tell us, anyway, tell us. But tell us. <laughs> I've got a great story for you. So uh, it was about, I guess this was last year when I was looking around for some newer projects to work with. There was this band that was working out of this uh, storage unit. Yeah. And of course, that's gated. So they told me to show up around 7 o'clock or so, and we'll let you in, and it'll be all cool to play. And I show up there about 7, right? There's nobody there at the gate. So I'm sitting out here awkwardly in front of this, uh, this gate booth here, and I'm just, you know, I, just, I don't know the combination, so everybody's <laughs> kind of looking at me. I'm like, okay, this, this is time to back up and kind of regroup. Ah. I decided I'll give those guys a call. There's, there's nobody here, and I don't want to look like a fool. Yeah. So I backed up, I turned back around, went back up this little driveway there and parked in front of this veterinary office. Well, evidently, Green Mazda Protege screamed, that guy's trying to burglarize my office. So oh. this, this vet guy oh. closed up, he walks out of his office, sees me there, stares at a couple of seconds. Yeah, I thought nothing of it at the time. Kept trying to call these guys to get, him to, to get me in there. I... I guess a couple of seconds later, I'm like, you know what? It's been like half an hour almost. I'm just going to go back to the gate, see if they're going to let me in, and, you know, hopefully there's no problem. Well, when I go driving back down this driveway to get in, all of a sudden I see this cop car pull up behind me. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> oh man, no. this not good. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I if I saw him, gate. I'd call the cops, too. <laughs> If I saw you, I'd call the cops. Hey, there's this kid out here. There's a weird. kid out here with oh, long no, hair. Really? He's trying to break in. <laughs> so what happened? I, oh, I, I went to, well, so I, uh, I pulled up there. I was just, I was like, please, just somebody come out and let me in. Because this is going to be super awkward. I'm sitting in front of a storage unit now. And there's a cop sitting there thinking, this guy's trying to rob this place. <laughs> so did they get, no, well, get you? Did they, uh, come and, did they come and get you? Did they come and get uh, you? <laughs> They were. They turned on their lights, and I'm just like, all right, it's up, it's done. I'm done. I get out of my car. I just like, I'm like, hello, officer. I guess you're looking for me, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's just like, oh yeah. I had to start this call, but you know, somebody was loitering. I'm like, look, it's not going to be any problem anymore. These guys aren't answering their phone. I'm going home. Okay. So, yeah, this guy is just looking at me, and I guess he's just like, he's like, well, what are you here for? And I told him my situation, and I, I, I don't even know what kind of impression I left. I said, you know, I'm not even going to call these guys back. I'm going home. He just, he let me go, but I can't imagine what the guy was thinking. He, he was probably thinking, oh, that guy didn't have anything to do with the band. He wanted to take those pets and that whole storage unit with him. Yep. <laughs> well, I, I, well, that's the way they think. I would have believed him. I, if I was a cop, I'd believe you. You know, no he fa would. There's well, no facial tattoos or anything, you know. There's there's, no yeah, you don't have any tattoos. You know, you don't have any gang you don't have those tier, <laughs> those tier ones, you know no, what I mean? The one that's a big tier right there. Yeah, they like two or three of them. <laughs> run. Run. <laughs> you see one of them people. Oh, boy, run. run. The hills. <laughs> I hope nobody's <laughs> watching. <laughs> with some as long as you didn't hit, hey. <laughs> <laughs> if I would have been all squeezed out and stuff that day, it wouldn't have been such a polite call. I probably would have, like... You probably want to just handcuff me right there like you're going home. <laughs> Eek. Hmm. So did you have a meet up with these guys in this band? <laughs> I did end up meeting up with them later, and unfortunately, after all that misery, they it didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> the life of tradition, right? There yeah, you go. Yeah. I should have told you right in the beginning that it <laughs> wasn't worth the trouble. Yeah. Uh, you should find a good did band. I find a good band and settle down. <laughs> Find a good band and settle down. Find a good band and settle down. What the hell? 
That's yeah, what that's we said. That's setup's really worked out, yeah. <laughs> They've been good. They cut, they cut to my garage, too, so I don't have to worry about all those gates anymore. They, they just play in my garage, and, you know, we're all happy. There you go. No complaints from the neighbors? No, we've actually, we've had to, we didn't work that out. At first, it was kind of a concern. It's like, hey, you know, well, we're not going to turn the drums down any, right? Yeah. yeah that's not exactly going to work. And uh, so we, I ended up going and talking to all the neighbors. I'm like, look, as long as I don't turn this up to 11, you're okay, right? And we're good. <laughs> yeah, because it's the same thing with me. Uh, we practice in the living room of my house. And none of the neighbors complain at all. Actually, they tell me to open the windows because they want to hear what song we're playing. You know, if they say, can't I hear it good it. enough. They're only hearing, like, the bass drum and the bass. So they want all the windows open so they can hear the yeah, vocals yeah, you know and, yeah. and the guitar you know what, playing. When I think about it, I, we must have done been doing pretty good. That's when everybody start walking their dog. We yeah. be at Ralph's house and all these people are walking their dogs out in front. Yeah, so they're getting free music, you know. Uh, and they'll be like, what, "Hey, you guys are pretty good." And Thank then you. all of a sudden, now you know they're listening to you. So yeah. now you're really trying to play good, <laughs> you know. Well, you don't stop the song. And any say, audience, hey, you messed it up over there. Now fix that. Hey, <laughs> any audience is better than none. Any audience is better than none. Yep, any audience is better than mm. none. Because <laughs> it makes you very like, true. It fit, makes you feel like you're entertaining. So you, you're, oh, yeah. you're on the top of your game, you know, even though you're in your house and you're trying to practice and work on the songs. But you know out there there's people listening because you know, the windows are open and, the you know, the people next door are listening and people on the other side. Hey, Steve, you're getting that song down pretty good. What was that part that the bass player messed up? I said, I don't know. I'll tell them about <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> they hear all the little things. You know, because they're on the outside, so they can hear it much clearer <laughs> than oh. us playing live. Oh, my, my microphone fell off. Oh, here, I'm getting louder. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! I'm not used to being uh, microphone. Well, this is, up. the Skype thing is really different. Yeah, this Skype is cool. I mean, uh, wow. this is the second time we did it. Yeah. Second time? I mean, cool. second time I did it on my show, but you've done it. This is my times. first time Skyping. I'm... I'm I've Skyped, you know, with girls. I can't explain the feeling. It's just amazing. It's <laughs> just amazing. I'm it's Skyped. like the Big Bang Theory when they, you know, the mother and father wants to Ooh, talk yeah. the guy from Itty, India. I've got to put that in. There's his mother and Skyped. father. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you've been Skyped. I've been Skyped. This is kind of cool. So this is pretty cool. So what, what are you going to be doing soon in the future with uh, the band? Yeah. Oh, well, we've definitely got, um, it's looking like we're doing a tour here coming up in August. Uh, we're planning on going all the way down uh, hidden places like North Carolina, going down to Texas. Um, well, come down here to Florida if you're going that far. You know what? You can yeah, play right. on the stage uh, here on the concert series. Yeah, audience, audience, audience. Yeah. <laughs> we want you live on the stage. I'm going to keep your number. I'm going to call you up about that one later. Yeah. On. Oh, yeah. Every Tuesday night is the concert series. Bands play on the stage worldwide. <laughs> and we serve hot dogs. Hot dogs, too. How can you beat it? <laughs> <laughs> He's got one of those hot dinner, dog dinner, roller right? machines. <laughs> dinner and a show. There you go. You start yeah. at 7, you're yeah. done at 9 o'clock, and you're home. Yeah. You're, you're back out of here. Get a DVD. You, you get a DVD get of audio. the band playing live. You get a CD. You get a CD. Everything. You know, it would be your live CD. What more could I ask for? Can't. <laughs> you can't. Too, it's too amazing. Yeah. I mean, this is the greatest thing that has happened down here in Florida oh, in God. the past it's few about months. About time. You know. <laughs> about time. I'd so love now it. we're on worldwide, you know, TV show, and you can promote your band, your, your CDs, and everybody around the world is seeing, watching us right now. I'm scared now. <laughs> They're watching. <laughs> I can just picture some like some somebody China. in Greece yeah, and some, in no, China. Somebody, some China <laughs> dude, you, know, you can't sleep. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> he's turn, watching. Hey, look, let's watch well, this. Probably, you know, yeah, it's in the middle. Maybe I can practice my English or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they just like to look at us, you know. I mean, we look yeah, different. Well, I guess. Round eye. <laughs> Round eye. <laughs> well, they know the rock and roll rock music originated from here, so they're only playing what we taught them. You know, in the fifties, you know, all the way to now. I mean, Elvis, and then he's you know the main rock guy, I guess, from the old days. 
and you know it built up from there. <laughs> you know? I hear you. Rock and roll is American. You know, it's an it American sure thing. Rock and roll. It started from Elvis, and and, and we're all the way hey, up if to there's, now. If there's one thing, I mean, the rest of the world can hate our guts, but it's like, and they don't, <laughs> and they don't. But it's no, the one thing they love is music. Yes, they and love, they love our music. Love music. They love our music. So Anything they they're it? always you know it's most the of the beast, time. The beast, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, we have the blues in us and everything. Now, the things that the, the bands in England had, they had the Bach and the Beethoven and all that in them. Oh, no, but the trouble is they, put, they grabbed it first. They grabbed it before we did. Yeah, they, they grabbed, grabbed the bluesy yeah. stuff. They grabbed Chuck Berry. Yeah, and, uh, they grabbed all Little that Richard. stuff because they weren't Woo-hoo. allowed to listen to it in yeah. the 50s. <laughs> They weren't allowed to listen. That was like the bad music. They, and it was like so a was rare cool. thing they, to get a 45 to record. They gave it back Like to Jimmy us. Page, you know, would fight to get these 45 records of bands from the 50s, all the blues guys. And then he picked up on that. Howling you know, Wolf. And then by the time Led Zeppelin came out, whew, you know, he's playing all those blues lights, but in a new modern rock and roll way, you know, mm. and way better than those mm. guys did back then. But that's where it came from. And all those other people uh, in those other countries respect that. Because they're trying to, you know, even though we didn't really grow up picking cotton in the fields or whatever, but we know where the blues came from. <laughs> you know, I'm more of a, a happy party rock guy. I want a party going. I want everybody to be happy. And, and you know, that's my style of music, a happy rock, you know, kind of Van Halen-ish. Mm-hmm. We're having a big party and everybody's invited. And except for <laughs> Dead Babies, we played Dead Babies. Mm-hmm. Except for that. <laughs> that's what, I think it's an up song. That's a party rock song. I think it's hip. I, I, I get off of it. I can dance to that one. They don't even let me put it on from Alice Cooper, the, the song Dead Babies, on Facebook. I can't put it on oh, Facebook. Really? It says they won't let me put it on. Right. I tried a few oh, times. Oh, that Alice Cooper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but they have the title already in there, so they know. Yeah. Now, my version of it, I could say baby's dead or something no. <laughs> um, or sick, baby's crying sick baby. <laughs> or sick babies sick baby. Ooh, that sounds like a band doesn't it yeah it sounds like a well band he had that other song sick things to inspired babies oh, oh expired babies <laughs> 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 but we we did yeah. that on the show but that's the only one i don't think we have on the video mm. it might be on the but we played on the concert series my band we were the first ones to do it. Now it's two months into it. What, like the sound is way better. And now yeah. it's being video recorded and then put into the Pro Tools and everything. So, you know, mm. it could be fixed even better. And everything's, everything's a learning process. Everything yeah. is everything. getting better and better at all times. We had guinea pigs in the beginning. Yeah, I was yeah. worried yeah. a guinea yeah. pig. At least I, you know, practice a lot. So I, I was a guinea pig and I... A ah. pioneer there it was. I was there a pioneer like of yep. the IASW <laughs> studio. <laughs> the pioneer. And we played live first. <laughs> and it, it came out <laughs> pretty good, I guess. <laughs> People good. give a good comment. It came out real good. I mean, um, uh, you're still here. That's but we, good, we played, you know, we practiced a lot. We knew we were going to be on a worldwide show, so there's no yeah. making mistakes. You yeah. Know, you, you get one take. You know, it's no like yeah. go back and hey, fix I it. I love live. <laughs> I love live. I love. I mean, well, live. I love live. <laughs> the live feeling. At is Sullivan Show, Saturday Night Live, the bands always play live. It's when you see the. Remember we were talking earlier, videos and stuff that are canned. Oh they're yeah, not that's as interesting. all lip synced. You it's know, interesting. Milli it's, Vanilli uh, to whatever. And, I uh, searched <laughs> all over. <laughs> <laughs> There's the audience. They're laughing. <laughs> well, I was going to make a Millie Vanilli tribute band and have everybody faking oh playing and singing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, listen to her. <laughs> that might work. <laughs> might the might Millie work. Vanilli. <laughs> but that's what, uh, wasn't the music awards on the other night or something? They said everybody on there was lip syncing. On Facebook, I was watching. Everybody's lip syncing. Nobody's really Come singing. It, rah, 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 it's rah, Hollywood. Rah. It's Hollywood. It's Hollywood. Well, they rock. don't want to look bad. It's yeah. Hollywood rock. <laughs> they're pretty. Or yeah. they're pretty. <laughs> or they have something that goes through their mic or whatever, so they never go off key. You know, where oh, yeah, auto tune built into the mic or something, you know, where they'll yeah. never go off. 
But, you know, and then I look back at the old guys, you know, Led Zeppelin and the Beatles and all that, and they really sang a lot of crappy microphones, ones that weren't yeah. even that good. You know, they, and they sounded great. You know, but that's, you know, I don't, I don't know what the difference I think it's a lot of band practice. Well, the Beatles played a lot in all the bars and everything before they ever made it. You know, and... Yes, they did. So they had, they paid their dues, and... You know, the other bands that came out after them, you know, were inspired by them, like even The Who and all those and Led Zeppelin. You know, you hear yeah. the Beatles in that, and still today, you know, they knew all the chords. The chords I don't even know on the guitar. They was like, they find these chords. <laughs> you know. But that's, that's, that's well, the story. Well, right, the two-finger hey. bar chord, and yeah. that's good enough. That's, yeah. that's the Beatles story, though. That's the Beatles story. They would, yeah. They'd find a, some, George would go and somebody would pay $5 and somebody would teach him a B minor. And then he'd go running back and say, hey, look at this. Look, look at this. I learned Listen a B to this minor. Chord. Whoa, let's find another let's one. Let's make a whole song out of this B minor. <laughs> But that's but, but then, they said with uh, John Lennon, his mother taught him how to play on a banjo, so he only played on the last four strings on the guitar. I hear you. So uh, you hear that "All My Loving" song where it's going, diddly, 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 diddly. that's on the last four strings. I, I had a hard time learning that. I had to play that. They were amazing. They were totally uh, amazing. I, mean, I told it goes somebody without saying. I mean, you talk about Beatles, it's like forget it. That's they're the. That's where the starting point for us is. Yeah. That's well. where that all began. Yeah. Beatles, Beatles. Well, they came up with a formula where you knew how to. Hey, what about put the Stones? Together. What about the Rolling Stones? Awesome. Well, Still doing it. Still doing it. Still well, doing it. And rocking like madmen. Yeah. They're, like, they're 70. I love them. Kinks. Who? All that stuff. That was. Now, know. where are the guys Who? from today? That's us. We got to be out there when we're 70. <laughs> you will. Yeah. You will. Hey. <laughs> you will. Look at Ozzy. He's getting yeah, up there, too. Yeah. Ray Mancera. This is for Ray Mancera. Oh, yeah. May, Ray Mancera, sorry that you died. When and, the music's um, over. The music's the over. It's the end. Uh, the end. But he left a lot of neat songs. Yep. Doris had a great sound. Yeah, I don't know. That keyboard was its own sound. Yeah, he yeah. died last night, that Ray, like that, uh, Ray Mancera. You can recognize a Doris tune by Morrison, but you can also recognize player. it by the keyboards. Yep. Love that band. He died. Ah. Ray. Guy from the doors. Well, another guy from the doors. I guess there's two left. There's uh, two Beatles left. Two doors. A couple, couple of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> there are a couple of monkeys left. Yeah, yeah. there you go. They're uh, yep. Davy Jones died because he married that 30 year old girl and he couldn't It'll handle it. Kill you. <laughs> I killed him. What <laughs> women? <laughs> He just dropped dead out of nowhere. I thought he was a pretty healthy-looking guy and everything, and he just, like, died one See? day. And they don't even tell you he just dropped dead. I guess that's the best way to go. Davy <laughs> Jones. Davy Jones. Yeah, Davey yeah, Jones yeah, from coming, the like, Been in the last years in the nursing house and stuff like that. I mean, I'd rather just go like that. Yeah. Be gone. <laughs> Or, you so, know, playing on stage or something or recording. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> so but I, got that, stage, that was the best stage act I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't want the Dimebag Daryl way. You know, I mean, I've, another guy, Dimebag, we love yeah. you. That was the worst thing. I was afraid uh, to play out after that for a while because but I thought they were going to start shooting people on the stage if they didn't aye like aye it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, well, I'm playing half the time with dartboards behind my head. Maybe and you're people right. Throwing Maybe darts. American Idol should be judged <laughs> with guns. <laughs> just, just shoot them. In the bar. Hey, I don't like you. <laughs> dartboard. Hey, you now suck. Now you. <laughs> and look, I really want to win, and then you're better than me. <laughs> but yeah. even the Beatles back then, they stopped touring. They were afraid, too. They were shooting our presidents and Martin Luther King and everything, and they were out there playing live in an open hey, field. Hey, but at that time, they, hey, they started playing music. one guy. Hey, they gun. started playing music that they couldn't do live. That's him. They couldn't do it anymore. But that, now you can. You yeah, know, they couldn't. We caught up time. to that, but now you couldn't do it back then. Yeah. Can you imagine doing Sgt. Pepper uh, live? Yeah. They wouldn't know where to start. They wouldn't. No. Uh, they wouldn't I know saw where to them start. trying to do Paperback Rider live, and it was pretty. And it was, it was difficult. Yeah. It was, it, <laughs> they couldn't. Well, we've caught up to them now. You can yeah. do all that stuff live now. Yeah. McCartney's yeah. out there. McCartney's still out there playing. Yeah. He's uh, on he's, tour, too. What's he, 70? How old is he? 
And the guy is he's still know. one of the great singers. He is still yeah. one of the great rock he's singers. He's a great Paul singer. I mean, I don't know. Jagger, but people that sing like him. These anymore. guys are still doing it. Woo wee! Oh, Music will always last. Yeah, but I, I think in a way it is going to keep you young and, and healthy yeah. throughout your whole life. I mean, because like, look at Paul McCartney and the Rolling Stones. Well, it'll and all keep that. you kind of <laughs> silly. It'll keep you silly and juvenile. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, that's <laughs> good enough. Yeah, I'll, Why I'll go for that. Why sure. grow up? Why you had your dream. You hey. had your dream as a kid, and you fulfilled it. There you go. You know, if you no had, if you had a dream to do something else, be a race car driver, you'd probably be doing that. You so know, you so. just play music until you. That's it. Yeah, and you always got to try to you know be healthy and to run around on the stage <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you're 70 years old. Time. You got it. <laughs> so yeah. it, it's you know you, you got to stay in pretty good condition. To be a, you know, it's that equipment thing. You know, you got to move it. You got to move the equipment. equipment all the time. <laughs> it's like that'll keep you. Keep that'll you keep you healthy. Bit. Picking up those. Yeah. The, the power ramps weigh a ton. Well, now the tire, you <laughs> keep those shoulders nice and fit. We're wearing that, especially uh, the Gibson. That's why I walk like this. Gibsons are heavy. Because <laughs> have the Gibson West. Les Pauls are heavy. You don't think Jimmy Page walks around like this? Because That's why he has back problems. They go out on tour. He lasts two months. He yeah, has he a back still looks problem cool. again because he's got he still looks cool. 58 Les Paul that weighs It still looks good. It still looks good. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I mean, Everybody had a Les Paul back then, you know, and then Eddie Van Halen Still came him. out, and everybody had a Stratocaster with a Les Paul. Pickup. Do you go? Do you go through? I think we're on break. Oh, are we coming up to break? Oh. Okay. Uh, we're not on break. Do you do you play different guitars? Like you'll play like a Les Paul for something, you'll play a Fender. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, the Les Paul and the Stratocaster. What's your so favorite right now? I have them both sitting right next to each other. I know, other. I do too. <laughs> I got them sitting. But which one? When you walk in, you're gonna. Play Which guitar you grab first? first. The Stratocaster. Uh, yeah, see, oh, wait. it's always the But then, like the the Les Paul oh. sounds so different. I know. And, and Les I, Paul is like, uh, Les yeah. Paul has teeth. It's more bitey, more mm -hmm. hard rocker, and um, grouchy. The Strat, I have the humbucker in there, and then the two single the two. coils. So I, you know, I can. How many how many guitars you got? Uh, about eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> So there's Hello. some under my bed. Yeah, yeah I'll pull. Out, I'll go under my bed. I'll pull out a guitar. And, oh, I have a black Stratocaster. I forgot about that one. <laughs> oh yeah. Let me okay. play that one for a while. Oh yeah. This is why I didn't like this one. Yeah, that's it. it. There and you put go. Put it back under the bed. Oh. <laughs> and pull out another one. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I just have all. So the what's colors. the most obscure one you got? The three decade one. Oh, the. 56. The 50s, uh, 60s, 70s Stratocaster. But I, I made it. I bought a 62 strap body, a 70s gotcha. pick guard, okay. oh, a 50s uh, neck, and put it all together. I've done it. But it don't work. I've done it too. The polka dotted one is Patrick McMichael made that one. And I tried it and used it, you know, on a couple of songs. And uh, he's a guitar builder. That, that was on my first show. I had a guitar builder here. Uh, and then when we played live, mm. he brought down a few guitars for me to use on his show. And he had this polka dotted strat, but he was thinking of it in a Randy Rhodes way. But really, Buddy Guy has a polka dotted that's true, strat. Yes. But his, I think, is black with white polka dot. So I had a, he had a white one with black polka dot. I really could understand that. What, the polka dots? Yeah, or any, uh, I mean, to me it's well, like, it's just, you know, Eddie the crummiest guitar I have, I, I mean, I could have a really crummy guitar and I love playing it. Yeah. I mean, it could be like the cheapest one I got, and then I'll, I'll play some $25,000 guitar, barely, barely touching it, it's like, oh, this ain't so hot, you know, and then I'll go back to that <laughs> crappy guitar just because it feels good, yeah. it feels good to play. Well, I have a lot of the Mexican Stratocasters at Bad. home that I play around with. I mean, I leave them there. They're hanging all over the walls. So wherever I walk in the house, I can grab a guitar and play. I, an amp is on 24 hours a day, everywhere in my house. <laughs> and I live alone. Actually, I'm moving to the bathroom house. now. Just that's, food. Yeah. that's like your own heating system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, so I, I'm constantly playing the guitar, and the only time I'm not playing is here. But here we go. There you Got go. It <laughs> <in> there, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Play that right-handed. Uh. So um, I'm a basically uh, I'm playing. Oh yeah, I have to mention this: the cork room. 
GS Teaser, my band will be playing there this Friday and Saturday at the Cork Room. So everybody be there. I played there a while back. Um, I wore Jimi Hendrix's jacket. Uh, oh, that's right. Guard. I heard, yeah, from yeah. the last show. I was yeah. the only one to wear his jacket in the last 40 years. Yeah. They put the jacket on me. I went out and I played um, the Star Spangled Banner like Jimi Hendrix. Awesome. I studied it for a month <laughs> watching him at Woodstock oh, playing yeah. that, you know, Star Spangled Banner and did it, you know, as close as I possibly could. But once I put that jacket on, I was ready to go anyway because... <laughs> Who would have thought? Security guards come in, put the jacket on me. <laughs> they didn't let me untie the thing because Jimi Hendrix tied the knot in the front, and it was never untied. It was a piece of rawhide. So they put it over my head. I went out there, and I played it, and then the security guards came up, and I pulled it back <laughs> on, put yeah, it back in there, and then put it back in the car and took it up. And then I did it again at this cork room. I did it twice. The first time I did open it up for Great White, that band Great White, and I yeah. opened up for them playing it. And then they had me do it again for this other band, uh, the Ghost Riders, which is uh, like a combination of the Outlaws and Leonard Skinner and a bunch of guys from that band. So, and um, I guess I'm going to be the Star Spangled Banner guy and Whenever the there's fourth, some kind of great idea. <laughs> big band playing in the neighborhood, they're going to have me wear Jimmy Hendrix's jacket and play the Star Spangled Banner. How cool is that? And that's it. How I'm cool a one song, one song wonder. I get to take the coat off and I can go home right after that. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to play for four hours. <laughs> Does it get pretty hot, the coat? <coughs> huh? Did it get hot? Does it get pretty hot? Oh, yeah. Coat? That's why he gave it away. Jimi Hendrix gave that uh, coat to the bass player in Jethro Tull. So he could be Because miserable. he was, you know, they were the backup band at the time, and um, Jimmy just said the, co the jacket's too hot to wear on stage with the lights. So he gave it to uh, the bass player of Jethro Tull, which his up. son owns it now. And that's who saw me playing in a bar at an open mic thing, just playing guitar solos. And asked me to do it. He, yeah. So, and ever since then, any show that he, he's a promoter at the same time. He promotes big bands, any show he has. Hey, Steve, you want to come down and play Star Spangled Banner and wear Jimmy Hendrix's jacket? Okay. I'm there. <laughs> you're a Spangled Banner man now. <laughs> I said, that'll be cool. I said, uh, hopefully we could build it up to the point where I'm walking in Madison Square Garden. I play the Star Spangled Banner. Motley Crue plays after me. I hear you. They pay me my five hundred thousand dollars. I go home. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. And then I'll start playing awesome. our Star Spangled Banner in other countries like Russia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they like it there. <laughs> we'll play it in Italy. <laughs> you can start learning all the. You can start learning all the uh, other country like there. There's. Yeah, I'm gonna have to learn a different country uh, song. Oh, so, you know, O Canada. Okay. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I mean, know of any other ones. I don't know any other. I don't know any other ones. Any country song? What's the England? Uh, what's the one for England? Uh, my country tis a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Something. I don't know. I don't know. Italy. Ha um, yeah, England has a song. I've well, you'll have to figure this out. Now. Oh, that's this, is, uh, this could be a whole yeah. But Queen thing. Queen did it. Their song. On uh, the, I forgot, uh, they did it on Don't the last song on the one with Bohemian Rhapsody on that okay. album, the same album, God, uh, God Save the Queen or something Sounds like good. that. <laughs> Sounds as good as anything else. Although that was the Sex Pistols yeah. too. I remember here, I remember yeah, the that, Yeah, they did it too, the God Save the Queen. They kind of did their own version. Oh my God, we're a quarter after three. Oh, we're rolling well, we're over, aren't we? Oh, okay. Well, we need some more audience. Audience, do you Where want us you? to continue? We want to hear some clapping out there. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And you girls from the beach, get your ass out of here. <laughs> you have one in the pink. Get up here on my lap. <laughs> we got the jacuzzi upstairs, so be waiting for me up there. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess uh, I don't know 
when you have uh, like you're on tour and everything, because now we could do this. You're doing it right off your phone, right? Or you got yeah. it. So now when you go yeah, on tour, yeah, right here. so we could do this, you know, when you're on a tour bus and with your other yeah. band members that's when right. you go out. And that's the way I'm going to start doing it when I'm going to get, you know, other people too. You know, well, uh, I can, I can go take a bathroom break at 2.30 if you guys are all coming out. Yeah, you can go. Sit right on the toilet bowl and talking to us. Well, that I don't know about that. <laughs> No, this is pretty cool. I like, you know, I'm enjoying this every week. Uh, well, last week was the first time I had anybody on Skype, and uh, that was John Hurt. Thank you, John Hurt, for coming on the show. Cool. And um, now this week is you. Next week, I think I have this Bach piano player, a uh, great, great piano player, Michael yeah. Ray, that I found on Facebook, and he saw one of my videos, and I was playing uh, the Exorcist song on the guitar. The oh. So he said babies. That would kind of. So yeah, he was into that and he really liked it. So he's coming out with his seventh album and he wants me to play on that album. So um, and he plays like all these romantic love songs and he, you know, he's got in one week on YouTube he has like ninety thousand views. That's incredible. You know, so he's way way up there. He's. Uh, Michael Ray, you'll be here next. We're going to set it up with you. I think we're going to uh, get going here. It's uh, almost quarter after three here. All right. So uh, well, this was fun. it was great having this you, was on, fun. Really? On you on here. And uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see Patrick here. Can you see him? Sometimes. Oh, he can't see. Uh, oh, you can't see the other guy. He's sitting on the <laughs> other side of the table. All his hair in the way. He's got the longest hair you'd ever want Man. to see. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> but he's from the Go Foot band, and it, I don't know if you were watching the show before you came on, if you've seen him then, or just walk He'll over. Check here. It out. He'll check it out. Yeah, come over here and walk over here. Yeah. So you can see who else is making these comments over here. Ta-da! There he is. Bend down a little. <laughs> there he is. Hey, how's it going? He was my guest here. He was the, Thanks to meet the you. live guest. So next time, you'll be the live Skype guest. Pills. Next time, you could be the live guest. There you and, go. We'll, yeah, okay. and we'll talk to Bon Jovi or somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get Orianti. Orianti, you're next. Orianti, Orianti. We, we're trying to get her. We've already been talking to her. All that, right. that blonde chick, uh, the guitar player. You know who I'm talking about? Orion. <laughs> she uh, has her own solo album out right now. Aww. She's from... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's supposed huh? to clap. Orianti, Orianti. <laughs> Where is the clap? There. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we want Orianti on the show. I hope you're watching it today, Orianti, because I'm going to get you. You got the same hairdo as me. <laughs> so we're going to close out the show today uh, thank you Blair Sickley for being on Skype thank you Patrick hey. Dean my pleasure my pleasure and so, uh, keep hey. looking out for it okay and sure. give me a call on the phone and we'll talk about things and uh, when you're going to be in the neighborhood and um, when you get out there on tour we'll definitely have you here live you got it, Steve. Cool. I'd love to be there. All right. All right. See you next week. Next week. Okay. Bye. Take it easy. Bow. <laughs> Are we still here or no? <laughs>